Hey guys, this is an early morning uh, video on the pros and cons of gathering your wild plants in city areas, alongside roads, and that kind of thing. Now, I do not discourage this. I encourage it with knowledge. Now, if you are in a small town like I am, and you pass by certain places every day and you watch and you know traffic patterns and that kind of thing and you know where you're getting your plants from and you can know for certain that there are no chemicals there and no sprays nothing like that then you're making an educated decision now if you'll notice the traffic patterns here now this is typical traffic patterns it doesn't get much more than this even during heavy flows of traffic uh, so as far as let's say auto exhaust there's not it's not much more than that but this is actually a very good specimen of what uh, is known as a prickly lettuce one of two varieties of prickly lettuce that I am identifying locally now I'm saying it like that because uh, I have two varieties now that are prickly lettuces they are vastly different from each other they both have the very prickly spines on the back so much so that they're pokey they both have a very small growth stature have them both in my yard some of y'all that ordered them actually got this i thought that this was a varosa it has a very prickly spine i mean these are very prickly it may turn out that this is a varosa but i'm going to be sending this off to the UT uh, Extension Plant Identification Service at the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. I got to send an email to them tomorrow to see what we can set up. Now, with this, I would say that this plant would be safe to harvest. You could pull the leaves from them, or you could dig this up and transplant it. On a plant this size, I would say you would need to pull up at least a at least a good little bit of dirt around it so that you're getting the dirt that it's growing in and would ease its transition now while we're here I want to bring up another plant that I think people are actually sending me uh, messages to ID because they think it's a prickly lettuce and it grows near it and I'm going to show you how close near to it there's one start now but here it is right here let me get out of the light of it this is a sow thistle there are a couple of different varieties it's a saunchus is what it is when you break it let me get this it has a sap too that uh, but it's not a white milky sap it's more of a clear sap now you see it has fluffy blooms it has a dandelion like bloom you see the leaves have spikes you see it has spikes uh, this plant is actually a medicinal plant that can be used. It is a very beneficial plant. I actually am going to pull a couple of these little blooms and put them in my bed because the ones that I pulled from my daughter's plant on Sand Mountain did not come up. And it may be because the varieties need different 
different areas to grow. Well, this one's right down the road from me, so maybe it'll grow. Maybe I ought to get a fluffy one. But I wanted to bring that to you, and I'm sorry about the, the traffic noise, but I wanted to bring that to you to show you that yes, there is harvesting. You see, there's another one and another one right there. There are three good sized plants right there that I would say are okay to be harvested. And there's actually another one down here. And amongst all these landscape plants, there are actually several of these uh, lactuca wild lettuce plants. So I wanted to bring that to you today to show you that if you know the area that you're harvesting in and that it is a safe area to harvest from that that you can gather your leaves or your plants from even public areas now be careful because some places even though they're weeds don't want you digging up stuff or pulling things out now luckily people here know me and they know that I'm always pillaging so they're very tolerant of me especially if I'm in my back girl shirt now that saunches right there that south is so I think that's a beautiful plant those glossy leaves I think that wild plants are absolutely beautiful so it has a seed head that's about ready to to bloom and be ready to disperse so I'm going to grab it and put it in one of my little bags so until our next video goodbye